Tonight, we're saving the music. We've been reporting this week about big budget cuts coming for Detroit public schools. But tonight, there's one that's hitting especially deep. At one of the city's best high schools, a school known around the world for its music and arts program, students are being told they're done. No more music, no more choir, no more dance. When our Ronnie Dahl heard the news, she jumped into action. Renaissance High School is known around the country for its performing arts program. It's helped pave the way for some students to go to college. And now, it's in jeopardy. From today's hits to Mozart, students in Renaissance High School's performing arts program bring music to life. Students like Sydney. I play the viola in the orchestra. And Anthony. What does music mean for you? Everything. At this school, the performing arts program with its elite musicians, singers, and dancers isn't just an elective. It's a ticket to possibilities. If it was not for Renaissance High School, I definitely would not be in school for free. I'm at Wayne State University on a full scholarship. Jillian Jackson is studying music education and volunteering at her former high school. Or at least she was until word came down that the arts, all the music, dance, and choir programs are being cut as part of the Detroit Public Schools plan to save money. I mean, I was absolutely heartbroken. That was my favorite class. Just a week before school, students are at a total loss. Today, they showed me pictures of their music room cleaned out, and they found all of their instruments have been locked up. A week before school begins, many believe their future is quite literally at stake. And I was hoping it would help me get into college. That may be to my detriment in the future because now I don't, I might not be offered with those same opportunities as before. And I think now all our kids need as much as they can to make them a well-rounded student. Desperate to save the program, students have taken to social media. They even started an online petition. At last check, it had over 2,000 signatures. I feel like taking the arts away from the students would be taking their personalities, and that's like saying you're a nobody. They are somebody. They are Detroit's future, Michigan's future, and they want their voices heard. We took their plight to Michigan's top politician, the man ultimately in charge of DPS, Governor Rick Snyder, who was in town as part of his re-election campaign. What do you say to those kids? How do you inspire them? You're a man about solutions. Yeah, well, that's where we all need to pull together to say, how can we look at options like that about keeping programs going? If you'd like to show your support for the students and the program, we'll put a link to their petition on our website, WXYZ.com. On Detroit's West Side, Ronnie Dahl, 7 Action News. Okay, Ronnie, thank you. And